Hey guys, welcome back here for another tutorial. Today we're going to be going into more of our After Effects 2017 updates. Uh, so far working it, it's been great. And so in this next one, we're going to talk about live text templates and what you can do when you're working with After Effects and then going uh, back into Premiere Pro. So uh, when you have some text on the screen and you'd like to change that. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial and we'll get started. All right, so now we're in After Effects and I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One is by using Adobe Dynamic Link and the other one's going to be by exporting the file and then importing it into Premiere. So I've got this set up and this is a linked composition within Premiere and I've got it open in After Effects here. And so as you can see, I've got this video and if I play it back, it's just this black and white of New York City and I've got the New York City text on here. So if I want to change this, obviously I could change the text layer here and I could name it something else or if I have that linked in Premiere I could just open that up and here it is you can see that this is pink so it shows it's a linked comp if I go down and select this if I'm in my project I can click on the linked comp and go up to effect controls and then master and then you can see here that I've got this editable text so if I go here and type this in and let's just say Brooklyn and I click off of here, it's gonna live update here. So that would allow me to export from Premiere or do something else uh, if I'd like to change the text and maybe do two different exports if I was wanting to have two different text layers or something of that nature. So that's how you can do a live text update within Premiere with a linked composition. Now let's go back to After Effects. I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna to go to this live text template. So I just made this quick in, um, lower third and it says Jonathan Doe and I'll start everything and then it's gonna exit, all right? And so what we're gonna do now is we're going to export this into a live text template that you can then import into Premiere. So we're just gonna make sure the composition is selected. I'm gonna to go to file, export, and then composition as text template is the one that I need. Um, let's see if I'm going to be able to close this and open it back up. All right, let's try this one more time. Yeah, I've been having issues with After Effects 2017 for this particular thing. I've noticed I've had to close out of compositions, comes back, come back in, so it's probably a bug and we'll need to submit it uh, to Adobe in order for them to fix it. So I'm just gonna click composition as text and then I'm gonna export it here and we'll just call it uh, Jonathan Doe and text template. So it's a text template file, so we'll just, let's just call it Jonathan Doe. I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so let's take that off. I'm gonna save it, and then that's gonna export it. Now let me go into Premiere, and at this point, if I'd like, I can go ahead and close After Effects, and we're gonna come back in here, go to our project panel, double click here, and we're gonna import Jonathan Doe. Text template's an older one I did, so this is the new one, and click Open. And then you can see here it's importing the After Effects composition. So it's actually importing the composition. So I can click on OK. It's going to bring it in here. And then at that point, if I'd like to, I could bring it in, drop it there on my timeline, and there it is. So it's a really easy way to live update. And if I want to go into this composition, I could click on it, Effect Controls, and then I could change um, the text that I'd like if I didn't have this other one open. Let's go ahead and go back here. I'm gonna close this other one out. Delete you. All right, and let's try to go to the effects controls on this one. There we go. So now we've got the new one. So I can change this and let's say an all star at nothing. Click off of there. There we go, so live update. So I could change the name, I could change this. Um, you can even bring this back and edit this if you'd like. Uh, and just change whatever you'd like with it. So uh, it's a really great feature. Get in and make a couple of them. They're really easy. I prefer to do the dynamic link. That way I don't have to worry about the export and import, but maybe you do. Maybe you like to export and spend the extra time. That's completely up to you. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I hope this was helpful for you. I will see you around in the next one.